In this problem, a heated metal ball is dropped into a liquid. As the ball cools, its temperature, T degrees centigrade, T minutes after it enters the liquid, is given by T equals 400 E to the minus 0.05 T plus 25, where T is greater than or equal to zero, as it's representing time. Part A, find the temperature of the ball as it enters the liquid. So that is initially, so when T, lowercase t, is zero. So substituting that into our equation, the temperature T is 400 E to the minus 0 0.05 times zero plus 25. So minus 0 0.05 times zero is just zero. E to the zero is just one. So we have 400 plus 25. So 425 degrees centigrade. Part B. Find the value of T, the time, for which the temperature T is 300, giving your answer to 3 sig fig. So the temperature is 300. We put it equal to the 400 E to the minus 0.05 T plus 25. So first of all, subtract the 25 from both sides. Okay, so 275 is 400 e to the minus 0.05t, then divide both sides by the 400, okay? So, 275 divided by 400 is 11 sixteenths, which is e to the minus 0.05t. You then want to log both sides, natural log of both sides, okay? To go from exponential to logarithmic form. So, natural log of 11 sixteenths is equal to minus 0.05 t because when you log the right hand side the ln and the e will cancel one another out as their inverse functions. Now at this stage you can divide both sides by the minus 0.05 t so t is the natural log of 11 sixteenths divided by minus 0.05 so we want to put, uh, put that into our calculator. So divide that by minus 0 0.05 and we get 7.49, um, or they minutes, to the required three significant figures. Part C, find the rate at which the temperature of the ball is decreasing at the instant when uh, time is 50, giving your answer in degrees Celsius per minute to 3 sig fig. So what we want to do is we want to find the gradient function because that's the rate at which the temperature of the ball is decreasing. So we want to find the gradient function of this. So that would be dt by dt. So d capital T, temperature, by d lowercase t, time. So the minus 0 0.05 will come down and multiply with the 400. So 400 times minus 0 0.05 is minus 20. E to the minus 0 0.05 T. And because it's a gradient function, the plus 25 will just disappear. That doesn't make any, um, any difference. We now need to evaluate this when T is 50. So dt by dt when t is 50 is equal to minus 20 e to the minus 0 0.05 times 50. Okay, so plug that into your calculator and we get minus 1.64 uh, degrees centigrade uh, per minute to 3 sig fig. So what we really want to write down here is that it's decreasing at a rate of 1.64 degrees centigrade per minute. So because we've got decreasing there, it's taken to mean we are going down, okay? So we are subtracting 1.64 degrees centigrade every minute, okay? Um, you don't need the negative to be there. So if you've got both of these, then you know, you've got the answer well covered. 
Pot D, explain why the temperature of the ball can never fall to 20 degrees centigrade. Okay, so it's best to really visualize what the graph of this function will look like. Okay, now because uh, e to the minus 0.05t can never be zero, okay, um, if you're just looking at this, okay, it'll never reach zero. Um, but then when you add 25 to it, okay, that just means it will never, the temperature will never reach 25. So visually, what we're talking about here is this, if this is time and this is the temperature, then we've got this 25 degrees centigrade, okay? But this function, when we're at zero, remember at 425 up here. So as the time goes on, the temperature gets closer and closer and closer to 25, but will never reach it. So when it's talking about 20 degrees centigrade, well, of course it will never reach 20 degrees centigrade because that's below the 25. So as part of your answer, you really want to say, as T gets larger and larger and larger, as it tends to infinity, e to the minus 0.05t will tend to zero. Okay, so as uh, the t gets larger and larger and larger, you've got e to the minus of a larger number, and so that's getting closer and closer to zero. And so the temperature is getting closer and closer and closer to 400 times zero plus 25, so 25. Okay, so the temperature will never reach 25 degrees centigrade or lower. Okay, so that answers your, the problem of part D.